If you recall back our equation, we say that t is equal to 2 u sine theta over g and our maximum height is u squared sine squared theta over 2g and our range is u squared sine 2 theta all over g okay so we solve draft out the parameters given to you initial velocity u is 100 meters per second right? angle of inclination 30 degrees then what else we have to calculate the time of flight which is t so we take it that a t is 2u sine theta over g substitute the values t becomes 2 times 100 times our other sign 30 all over 10 and g is 10 so t is 200 times sign 30 sign 30 is 0 0.5 all over 10 so T is equal to 20 times 0 0.5 minutes 10 seconds. So the time of flight will be 10 seconds. Okay? We'll go straight to the next one, which is the maximum height. So our edge is u squared sine squared theta all over 2g. Substitute the values, h is equal to u there is a um, 100 squared sine squared 30 all over 2 times 10 so that will give us h equal to 100 squared is 10,000 times sine Square 30 becomes sine 30, 0 0.5 squared. That will give us 0 0.25 all over 20. 0 cancel out 0, 2 here 1, 2 in 10 is 5. So we have 500 times 0 0.25. 500 times. 0.25 will give us 125 meters and then finally the range R is u squared sine 2 theta all over g okay that will give us substitute the values r equal to u is a um, hundred squared sine two times thirty all over ten. That will give us ten thousand sine sixty over ten, which is this will cancel out this, giving us 1000 sine 60 is 0 0.8660. So multiply this by 1000, that will give us 8. If we move this three times, 1, 2, 3, that will give us our range being 866 meters. This is the 
range. So at this, we've been able to obtain the time of light, the maximum height the object projected will get to, and then the range, which is the maximum linear distance it will attain. At this, we come to the end of today's class. In our next class, we will look at simple harmonic motion, where a body is made to move to and fro. We have a whole lot of them happening around us. Simple harmonic motion is a good example of um, random uh, vibratory motion, or we call it oscillatory motion. So we'll get to know how this motion comes to play in our everyday lives and most especially how energy is expended in a body observing simple harmonic motion. Thank you very much and see you in our next, next class.